The slicing strings exercise is similar to the indexing strings exercise. Here's how it works. Choose a phrase. Hello world. Your phrase is hello world. Which character would you like to start with? Two. Which character would you like to end with? Five. Your substring is LLO comma. Like with the last exercise, that looks weird to the user. They wanted to start with character two, but character two from the user's point of view is the E in hello. So the challenge is to fix that and give the user the characters he or she expects. The first parts of this exercise are almost identical to the last exercise. So we input choose a phrase and we assign the result of that to phrase. And then we print your phrase is phrase and then we have a separator of an empty string. Then we prompt the user for position one and position two, the start position and the end position. And I'll just copy that, paste it, and change this to end. In both cases, we need to convert these to ints. While you can do that in the same lines as above, we can also do it through new lines. And the last part is to print the user's substring. And this is where indexing comes in. So here's our phrase. We have the open and close square brackets. Now we put in position one, colon, position two. Position one is the integer the user chose to start with, and position two is the integer the user chose to end with. If we run this, it says choose a phrase, hello world. Which character would you like to start with? Two. Which character would you like to end with? Six. And your substring is LLO comma. The challenge is to return a user expected substring ELLO comma, starting with character two and ending with character six. And the solution is simple. On this line, we can just subtract one from position one, or we could do it within the indexing here. Either one of those will work fine. And now the substring return to the user is what any normal user would expect. Next up, you'll learn about concatenation and repetition.